A phoenix is a mythical bird which can burn itself into ashes and then rise again from those ashes. In the absence of non-conservative forces, just like a phoenix, kinetic energy of a body can be converted into potential energy, which can again be converted back into kinetic energy. Let us understand this through an example. When a body is at a certain height, total energy possessed by the body is due to its position only. Or in other words, total energy is equal to potential energy. When the body starts falling, its potential energy decreases and kinetic energy increases. That is, its potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. Let us study in detail this transformation of energy. Suppose a body mass of 10 kg is at a height of 40 meters from the ground. Taking acceleration due to gravity 10 meters per second square. The potential energy possessed by the body equals mgh equals 10 into 10 meters per second square into 40 meter equals 4000 joule which is equal to the total energy as the body starts moving downwards it gains kinetic energy at a height of 20 meters the body has actually fallen through a distance of only 40 minus 20 equals 20 meters at this height the body has potential energy equals mgh equal to 10 into 10 meter per second square into 20 meter equals 2000 joule and square of velocity is 400 meter per second whole square hence kinetic energy equal to half mv square equal to half into 10 into 400 equal to 2000 joule so total energy associated with the body is kinetic energy plus potential energy that is 4000 joules similarly when the body is at 10 meters height it has potential energy of 1000 joules and kinetic energy is 3000 joules so it has a total energy of 4000 joules when the body is at zero meters height it has zero joules potential energy and 4000 joules kinetic energy so it has a total energy of 4000 joules so we find that during free fall of the body the decrease in potential energy at any point in its path appears as an equal amount of increase in kinetic energy. Similarly, if an object is thrown upwards, the increase in potential energy at any instant is equal to the decrease in kinetic energy. So the sum of kinetic and potential energy always remains constant. This is energy conserved. This is the law for conservation of energy. According to this law, energy can only be converted from one form to another. It can neither be created nor be destroyed. Let's summarize what we have learned. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but can only be converted from one form to another form. So, if a body falls, its kinetic energy increases as its potential energy decreases. A student was able to complete his assignment in one day's time, while the other completed it in a week. While both of them performed equal amounts of work, the time taken to perform that work matters as well. In physics, we define a physical quantity to measure this. Stay tuned to learn about it. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.